wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Well, it's somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Hey! Those things here! Good! You heard I was looking for you. Speak. The tree has become rather... overgrown. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal, considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Thimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Now then, Here's any luck finding found. those lean worms? What a rambunctious bunch! About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. Now keep up the good work, bringing those lean worms home. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. You are the best. You have always been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh, you're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, enough. Look at that. <laughs> You really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go. Back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Choice. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. 
Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you... Then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Huh. Trace, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Ay lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <sighs> Here we go. Ben? Huh? You made it back! <laughs> hey. This is your wool? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Anger Boda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions, but he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. 
I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Good night, boy. Be careful, Loki. Bowden complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. If he had nothing to do with it, then why isn't he here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. And it kind of messed up logic. Time bells, guys. Oh. Suddenly, this boy, he won't stop hanging around. Okay, panic does nothing. Heart. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I have to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird, find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. Too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Through? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with Grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Shut it. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Huh. Come on. They're not going to let you in otherwise.
Look around. He'll be here. Through. I'm. It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so. If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but. Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather... Quiet! He's right. You should get going. Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants, and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face. I can't. This isn't you. Uh, Thor. Hugin <clears throat> is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, uh, no. What? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Ah! <laughs> 
madam killing in her yard? They're already dead. They can't really die again. Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. <gasps> I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No. No. It's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you've got to help me out. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Thrudy. You are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Get you a water or something?